Hi, I'm Katie Barnett from Pennsylvania Virtual Charter School. Today we are going to play a little bit with art and science mixed together, doing an experiment mixing colors on coffee filters. So what you'll need are some white coffee filters. If you don't have coffee filters, uh, paper, uh, paper napkins, paper towels, those can work just as well. I also have some handy dandy uh, markers and a bottle of spray with just water in it. So first step, I like to set myself up on uh, an empty cookie sheet because it does make a little bit of a mess and this helps to make cleanup a little easier. I'm gonna take one of my coffee filters and spread it out as best I can. It is going to continue to pop up a little bit, but it will stay down once we wet it. And I'm gonna make a fun kind of design. And the best ones I found are ones that are the same all the way around so that the blend kind of turns into more like a tie-dye as we go. But I would challenge your students, if you do this with them, to try a few different variations to see which ones they think work best. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna kinda take the color and go around. A few spots I might end up overlapping, but I'm gonna try and leave a little bit of space between my colors as I can to allow for that mixing to happen. Now you'll notice I'm starting out with our three primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. And that's simply because I find they make the best mixing. And again, I'm doing a very basic kind of design here, nothing fancy, going the whole way around, leaving just that little bit of space for the colors to mix. We're gonna go one more round here with red. And again, the focus of this type of activity is to be able to show how the colors will blend together. So now that we've got our coffee filter all colored in here, you can see it's laying nice and flat from the markers, the last step will be to add the water. Now you can do this if you don't have a spray bottle just by dribbling your fingers over it, but it does work best with the spray. And you can see that as I add some water, the water is getting absorbed and it's starting to mix the colors. Look at how beautiful that is. We have some orange happening here, some beautiful green. And there's even a little bit of purple, dark purple here in the middle. So what I like to do is I like to make several of these and leave them out to dry. You can then make things with them that are very colorful and engaging to hang around your house, to decorate with, you can also wait until they're dried and then cut them up and use them as beautifully colorful snowflakes. There are so many different ways students can color these and create and make things with them. I hope you enjoy decorating your home with these as much as my own students have.